So tonight I want to share some low light tips. Wait, hold on one second. So tonight I wanted to share some low light tips for the GoPro Hero 10. And I did a similar video as a short a little while back, but I feel like maybe I should make one a little bit longer than 55 seconds. But as you can see, it is dark and scary here in Brisbane, Australia. So let's get started before I get attacked by a kangaroo. <gasps> Welcome to the channel where I love to review cool gear that comes my way, but also sprinkle in some little tips and tricks as I do. So uh, don't be a stranger. I will put some detailed info down in the description, plus some links to any of the products that I'm talking about and a surprise link as always. So first things first, before we get onto any presets and any other tips, we have to acknowledge the fact that the GoPro is an action camera. It captures some amazing high quality footage outdoors with prime lighting, you know, the sun. So let's just have that as the expectation and then we can go further and say, hey, you know what, we can also do some other cool things with the GoPro, you know, like fine tune it a little bit so that we can get better looking video at nighttime. And also, if you haven't yet, check out my star time lapse video because it's awesome that you can capture something like this with the GoPro. And just in case you didn't know, I'm shooting this all with the GoPro Hero 10 on these settings so that you get the idea of what it's like right off the bat, you know. But let me just show you what this would look like without those presets. So right now, this is the normal setting, 5.3, 60 frames per second. I do have a light on me, but uh, it's not ideal. But one second. This is with my custom preset, which I'll show you exactly how to do it. Luckily with the Hero 9 and the 10, we can create our own custom presets. Why the GoPro didn't already have low light as a custom preset, I don't know, but uh, you know, here it is. So to create your own, you're just gonna scroll down to the bottom and click the plus sign. We're gonna put this at 4K 30 or 4K 25, depending on what region you're in. We're gonna keep the lens angle at wide. We're gonna turn hypersmooth off. And this is so important because hypersmooth uses a lot of light to be able to work the way it does. Put the bit rate on high, Shutter speed, we're gonna put it at one over 60 or one over 50, depending on what region you're in. We're gonna set the white balance to 4000K because it's nice to actually set your white balance because if you don't, then it's gonna be kind of changing all the time and kind of messes with the quality of it. Keep your ISO minimum at 100, and then we're gonna set our ISO maximum between 400 and 800. So we're gonna be able to play around with this a little bit depending on how bright it is with street lights or whatever. Set your sharpness to low, and we're gonna put our color on flat. If you scroll down a little bit further, we can actually add little shortcuts. So we're actually gonna add the shutter speed as a shortcut, and we're gonna add the ISO max as a shortcut. That way we can go in later on and adjust them if we need to. This will give you the best settings that you can get with the GoPro, but remember, it's an action camera. Now, there are some extra tips to make it a little bit better and better. Obviously, if you're talking to the camera, you wanna have a nice light that you can brighten up. This one is the Ulanzi VL30 Super Mini Video Light. But also, I have this Ulanzi Compact Magnetic RGB Tube Light. It's great to have something like this in your hand, so you can have different colors, but also another key light, or you can have some custom lighting effects. It's really cool and a very low price. I also recommend some type of sturdy tripod. I mean, you can overkill it with something like this. Or you can get something a little bit more simple like this, but just make sure whatever it is, it's sturdy, it's not swaying in the wind, it's not being vibrated by anyone walking around, because the steadier you can keep the GoPro, the better the quality is gonna be. Now, if you are walking around, but you still want that, you know, hyper smooth look, you can always get a gimbal. Check this one out, I just received it from a company called Home, and I'm looking forward to giving a full review on this one, but one thing that I love about it is that it's super easy and quick to put your GoPro on there and a lot of other really cool features. So definitely stay tuned for that review because uh, it's pretty cool. And another quick shout out to a product if you want some cool cinematic looking footage at night with your GoPro, check out the Skyread Anamorphic Lens. This thing is amazing and I love the way it makes that picture just look so much more interesting to look at. And I will put links to all of the products and the reviews of those products down in the description if you wanna check that out. But there we go. Hope you got something good out of this video. And uh, it's almost midnight here. Actually, I think it's after midnight, so it's kind of fun. But it's also probably a good time to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do want to support this channel further, do check out my memberships where you can see some more exclusive behind the scenes content and live streams and giveaways. Also, I have a weekly podcast where I talk about tech and other fun stuff. So check out the Tech is Hard podcast. Whew, there we go. That's it. I got to get back home. It's, it's, this looks so cool. Yeah. All right. See you guys in the next one. Boom.